happy Friday and happy Scottish History Day. I just made Woo! that up. It's not actually Scottish History oh, Day, I don't think. Yeah. But so we're singing today the Sky Boat song. And there are a number of people who think that this song was written for a certain TV show, which shall yeah. remain unnamed. If you know, you know. We're not endorsing it. <laughs> but uh, this was actually not written for that unnamed TV show. This was written after the Battle of Culloden, after the Jacobite uprising, when they brought in, in Bonnie Prince Charlie, and they hoped that he would win Scotland and become the king because he was of the Stuart line. And unfortunately, it was a disaster. And he, after the Battle of Culloden, tons of people died, he fled in a fishing boat with Flora MacDonald, and he was dressed as like a, a maid to escape since there was a, a, a monetary prize on his head. He fled in a fishing boat to leave Scotland, never to return again. And a really, really dark and tragic period passed in Scotland after this with the Highland clearances, many Scottish Highlanders being taken away from Scotland, removed from their homes. And it was really, really sad time in the history of Scotland. But in this song, there's the, the cry for Charlie to return again and basically finish what they had been trying to do. They were wanting their, their king to come back from over the sea and rescue them. But Charlie never came again. And it makes me think about how that can be the result when we have our hope in man we're hoping for this king to come back and rescue us well there is no earthly king there is one king that we know is coming back who is fully man and fully god and he died on the cross and he rose again and he ascended to heaven and he is coming back and our hope can be sure in him and in eternity with him amen
Well, we've got a special treat for you today. We have got a really fun uh, scripture memory song. I'm gonna read to you a poem called Holy Spirit Clarity. And sometimes, you know, we get kind of feeling like, where'd God go? How come he didn't answer my prayer? And I just wanna encourage you that Jesus never walks away from us. It's usually us who wander away from him. And so when I go through some of these seasons of blah, I can usually trace it back to my not being faithfully in his word. And when I'm not reading his, Bi his word, the Bible, and I'm not filling myself with a vertical relationship with him and coming to him on his terms, sometimes I can feel so alone. But it's not him who left. He was waiting for our appointment and I just didn't show up. Does that ever happen to you? I encourage you, it's a prayer of repentance away to come right back in. So when I'm faithfully studying my Bible, seeking God's face daily, I'm not so easily kicked around by the devil and these circumstances of life. So this song is Galatians 5, 16 through 18. All right, Noah, hit it. <laughs> Clarity, mind-clogging, life-bogging, circle-jogging, helplessness, desperateness, fruitlessness, flesh you gratify, heart a pigsty, always asking why, 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 why? God, where are you? God, are you true? God? <sighs> Not a clue. Confused? Abused, fear infused, going nowhere fast, haunted by the past, how long will this last? Hope needed, trust receded, life depleted. Holy Spirit clarity, only way to truly see. Only hope forever free, get inside his plan and see the hope well up internally, producing life eternally. So that is just a little nugget. So when you feel far away from God, maybe he didn't go anywhere. You're just not keeping your appointments. So make sure you have a vertical relationship with the king. He's waiting to meet with you every day. Yay. Okay, we're playing Gunnery Sergeant Lawrence J. Iwasco. And I wrote this for Gunnery Sergeant Lawrence J. Iwasco. My uncle, Larry, he is a retired Marine. And so I thought, why not a militaristic sounding march?
It was delicious to be with you. Have the best week. See you next week.